Trauma is an experience that threatens the life and the health of an individual. And that th threat is going beyond any personal coping mechanism that the individual may possess. And that's trauma. And in the olden days, you know, what did we have? We, we had the scenario where we say, this is what you do, Boyke. Cowboys don't cry, you know, either you do it or it's not your, your kind of work. Through the years, our first responders had very little support in terms of mental health. Uh, and, and I think that was one of the reasons the trauma support team was established. We very much focus a lot on, on our own staff, our own family. Our goals is basically in four areas. It's to decrease anxiety and insecurity during or after a crisis, to teach crisis management techniques during and after a crisis, and to help our staff member and, and patients out there dealing with this um, after the crisis is over, and to assist in learning the valuable lessons through dealing with it with trauma and thereafter. COVID is really influencing their environment. You know, the ethics and the norms and the procedures have changed and there's different standard operating procedures that's emerging weekly. You know, it's, it's not business as normal, it's now changing day by day. The new environment requires that the responder need to concentrate on himself as well. Caring for yourself is, is an extra burden which you didn't have in the past, you know, which you, which you didn't need to worry so much about. You know, f first responders are frontline people and they're taking the heat of the incident or the events. So it requires vigilance and a high level of energy. And you know, that in itself is, is, is a tiring thing. Feelings of grief and devastation, uh, sometimes, you know, we think it's, it's a bad thing, but it's actually a very important thing because it means that you possess one of the important attributes of a human being, which is, which is empathy. We often lose sight of our own lives. We may have seen patients as they suffered through trauma, where some of them were in a lot of pain, some of them were fighting for their lives. This often makes it difficult to process. And those are the things that you need to, to meet, communicate. And that's your, part of your life story, and you need to tell that. Excellence is formed around four very important things. Concentration, control, completion, and compassion. All trauma people have a passion for people, and people comes first in their lives.